There are two types of count functions. You have just your basic count function, which will count up only the number of cells that actually have numbers within them. And then you have your count A function, which counts the number of cells in the range that are not empty. So for example, I have my payroll here and I want to find out or count up how many people actually attended or worked this week versus how many people didn't. So for example, you can see that Homer and uh, Frank and also uh, Harry were out on vacation, but let's say it's a huge list and I want to be able to count them up by using the function here. So what I want to do is I want to come up here and maybe we'll type in this will be the count function which is going to count up all cells with a number in them. And I'm going to close that, hit enter. And in this cell down below I'm going to actually insert my function. So I can type in equals. Now remember there's more than one way to uh, insert a function. This way I'm going to go ahead and type in equals and type in C O U until I actually get to my count and there's count A which we'll do in just a minute double click on count and it says okay what range do you want to count up and I'll go ahead and click and drag and select my range or I can type it in G5 through G14 and then just hit enter and it says okay of the range you selected only seven of the cells actually have numbers in them which tells me that only seven people out of the ten here one through ten actually worked that week uh, the other three were on vacation so let's see one two and three and if you click and drag and you select it you can see down below the count function is also on your stat bar and it counts up seven within the range. Okay, next I want to count up how many people don't have benefits. So what I want to do is I want to use the count a function, which again counts the number of cells within the range that aren't empty. So it's going to count everything that actually has something in it. To do so, I'm going to come over here and let's do it like this count a, which counts. Okay, so how many people have benefits? I'm going to go ahead and type in equals. Now, instead of doing equals, let me hit escape to get back out. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and click on the function here, get more functions. Let me click on the FX here and insert the function. Statistical, I think it's in here. I can select all and go through there, but I think it is statistical. And I'll scroll down to the C's and look for count A. There we go double click on it, opens it up, it says what range do you want to go ahead and look at to count up how many cells that are not empty. So I'll click on the collapse dialog box button, okay, I can click and drag the header of the window out of the way and then select the range here for the benefits, how many people actually have benefits. In fact, if I hit enter and it pops back open, right, and you can see it's counting up non-empty cells or non-blank cells and it gives me the total right here, 8. Let me drag this up before I even click OK. So you can get the results of your values to see if you've got the right range or, or what you should be expecting when you click OK. Click OK. There it goes. It gives me the total. Which is nice because if I add more employees here like 11, 12, 13, or 14 and this keeps stretching down further, then all I have to do is update the count function here to include rows further down from row 14 down all the way down to 20 or 30 or, or how far I want to go and it'll just automatically give me the number or the results of whatever I have in here without having me to go ahead and uh, insert this function every time or for example with the count function just go ahead and selecting it and looking down the stat bar. So for example here's a cool little thing if you double click any cell that has a formula in it or a function double click real fast it'll actually outline the range of that function uh, the expanse of it you can just also click and drag that as well if you didn't want to go ahead and just manually type in F23 here, then when you're done just hit enter and now it includes that range all the way down there.